Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of Dequervin's thyroiditis. A 35-year-old female patient came with neck pain and discomfort. She had a recent history of viral fever. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the ultrasound images of the thyroid lobes. You can see the measurement. The anteroposterior diameter is slightly more than the normal size. So the thyroid gland is thickened or enlarged a little bit. You can also see some inhomogeneous texture in the right lobe. Here is the midline axial view and you can see the isthmus looks quite normal. The inferior thyroid arteries apparently shows normal flow velocities of less than 25 centimeter per second. Now let's jump into the inhomogeneous textured area of the right lobe. Here you can see the longitudinal section of the right lobe. You can see an ill-defined area of decreased ecogenicity near to the antero-inferior part of the parenchyma. If you want to say it as a nodule, it should have a margin, but it's quite ill-defined. Here's the axial section and still the lesion is ill-defined. Now let's change the preset of the machine to have a better view. Now you can see in longitudinal section this heterogeneous textured area has no surrounding capsule or any hypoechoic halo. It is quite ill-defined, not similar to the regular nodules we see within the thyroid gland. If you want to compare this texture of the area, you can compare it with the breast lesion. Like if you see this type of lesion in a breast tissue, we usually think it as a notorious one, like the invasive ductal carcinoma appears like similar pattern. So what it can be? Here's the axial section and you still can see this lesion here. There is no thyroid capsular irregularity here. You can see a tiny cystic nodule with cometal artifact over here, which is a tiny colloid cystic nodule. This is the left lobe and it apparently looks completely normal on longitudinal section. Let's put some color doppler and on color doppler you can see only mild peripheral vascularity. There is no obvious internal vascularity. If it was a solid hypoechoic nosorious lesion then it should show a very good vascularity inside the lesion. Here's again a longitudinal section with color doppler and you can see only peripheral flow. Here's the picture. You can see an approximate measurement of this ill-defined area, which is around one and a half centimeter. And on color Doppler, you can only see some peripheral flow. Here's again the picture of the lesion on longitudinal section and a pulse wave Doppler sample from the peripheral flow of the hypoechoic area. So in summary, we have found mild thyromegaly an ill-defined area of decreased ecogenicity at the lower anterior parenchyma of the right lobe with mild peripheral vascularity on color Doppler. So these features, along with the history of recent viral fever, conclude it as a case of Dequervain's thyroiditis. Now the take-home message. Dequervain's thyroiditis is usually self-limiting condition. With proper supportive management for pain and thyrotoxicosis features should be given. You can do a follow-up scan. On follow-up, thyroid parenchyma will show you a normal echo texture. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and try to follow us on other social platforms. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.